Alright, hello there again YouTube. Here we are with the 05 Ram 1500. Right now, we've got a locked brake caliper. So right now we have one of two issues. Either a bad axle caliper or the rubber hose right here. It's clogged up and preventing it from decompressing. So what we're going to do, we're going to replace the caliper in the line as well. So get them both done. Alright, now as with everything else, make sure you're safely on a jack stand. And I have some kind of container to drip your brake fluid into. Be less of a mess. Alright, we're going to start off. You got a bolt here, and a bolt right down here. As it holds the caliper to the bracket. These are both a 10 millimeter. There's one. There's the other. Now this part here, with that copper being decom being compressed the way it is, being locked up. This will be a little bit harder to get off. So you probably need some kind of pry bar or a small hammer. That's what we've got here. As you can tell, it's not going to come off by itself very well. So all we're going to do is take our hammer and we'll gently knock it right here just enough to get it off. So hold on. Alright, just took a couple of nice little swings to get it off. So I'm going to bring it up here. Just kind of get it out of the way a little bit. And we've got a bolt right there. It's holding the brake line to the frame. But that one is a 13 millimeter. I'm just going to clip on. Think how long it's been on there. It could be a little rusty and hard to get off, so it's gotta work at it. Alright, so we have that bolt. So we're gonna set it here on the leaf right now, just so we know where it's at. Then this brake line here, if you follow it. It hooks in to right here. 
So we're doing that next. So we're gonna do first, so ready to go. It's got a new brake line tied to our new caliper first. So what we're gonna do is take this one off, put a new one on, go right from there. Give us one second. All right, so here we are. As with everything else, depends on where you get your caliper from, what comes with it. So this one here, I got the caliper and a new mounting bracket as well. So we go back down and take the old bracket off. But first, we take these bolts off. As before, it's still a 10 millimeter. Right, here's our new mounting bracket. So we'll put it off to the side for a minute. I'm going to come in here. This here's the bolt that holds your brake line to the caliper. I'm going to take it off. You should have two little copper washers that go under here. The next, you're going to take your brake line. When you look at it, see a little lip right there. That goes to the back, so it slides on there just like this. You'll take your bolt, Alright, so that, that lip goes towards the back. It'll be towards the inside of the caliper. Facing up. And this here is an 11 millimeter socket. I'm going to take it. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. Right here, we have the mounting hardware, which will go along here and along here. So what we're going to do next is go back down there, take off the old brake line, put the new one up to it, and mount our stuff. Alright, so what we're going to do next is go ahead and remove the bracket caliper, the caliper bracket. So first, take your brake pads. It's a good time to check your brake pad and see if they need replaced or not. We'll slide those out. Then you've got two bolts on the back side. One and two. They are twenty one millimeter. Depending how old they are and the last time they were off, 
They may need a little persuasion. Alright, so once again, off to the side. Now it slides right off. Then next, we're going to move to the back to di disconnect our brake line. That's what we going to take a little catch bottle, stick it right down there. And then we'll, we'll adjust it to see where the brake fluid's coming down at. Right here I've got a half inch wrench. So I'll hook onto it here. Get a little better view. I'm just going to start loosening it. Alright, what I did real quick, put that bolt back in there, help hold the brake line in place. What I'm doing is holding the brake line still while I loosen this bolt this up. And as you can sort of tell, the brake fluid is going towards the back behind the shock mount here. And now that's mostly loosened up. We're going to take, apologize. We're going to take this nut back off. Alright, back to the fuel line comes out. I'm going to take everything, get out of the way. I'm going to take our new setup. It runs under the leaf. 
over the shock mount. The break up a caliper pill we had before. Then we'll get you back there a little bit. Got this long piece here. It slides into that spot. Get that started. And you'll come back in here. Alright, what I did real quick, put that one bolt back in here to hold the brake line up. When you're tightening this down, you'll be careful and not bend your brake line. Once you got that back in there, we're we'll gonna come back over here. And work on remounting the brake caliper mount. Bracket, whatever you wanna call it. I get you a good view. So all we're gonna do is take our new bracket. It comes goes in between the rotor and the frame. Take our actual caliper out of the way for a minute. At this point, take a twenty one millimeter socket.
get it. It's a tight as it'll go. Just like that. Then I'm mounting hardware. Do you take it? Looks like this. That little tab. You slide it on. Or pop it, whichever you prefer. It goes on the bottom. And the top. Then your brake pads. This is the fun plug, getting the slide inside there. Right, I've decided against the hardware. Just because of the pain we get inside. All those made this fit in there a little bit, a little bit snugger. Once you do caliper on there, it'll help hold it in place anyway. Once you get your brake pads back on, you're gonna bring your caliper around. I right, apologize, I had to fight it for a minute. Right, make sure you put your caliper on. That this here, on both the top and the bottom, are fully as far back as it'll go. Make it a little easier for installation. You'll slide your bolt in, make sure you get lined up. Take your 10 millimeter. Get those best ties will go. Don't want to over tighten them too much. And after that, you want to bleed your brakes. Which we'll make another video on because I'll try to get a little bit of help. It's easier with two people. If I can't get help, I'll show you how to do it one man style. But there you go. You have your brake caliper, the brake caliper bracket, and your hose line are all replaced. You'll be all good to go.
And what you can do is go ahead and step on the brake a couple of times to get that locked in there properly. Wait one second, we'll do that. All right, we got that depressed. So it'll be all good to go. And one thing I messed up on earlier, when you're installing those two copper washers, one goes in between the bolt and the brake line, and one goes down here between the brake line and the actual caliper to keep your brake fluid from coming out. And you should get a new the bleeder valve cover to go with it, which we did not. So we'll take the old one, pop it on, and like I said, I'll come back with another video on how to bleed it. Alright, got any questions, I'll leave my social medias down in the, comp in the description below. You can contact me on any one of those. Uh, please like and subscribe, it really help me out. And we'll be back. Thank you.